Hi guys, welcome to the new video. Um, in today's video I'm gonna try to talk about a topic that has been requested also by a lot of students and I practice it a lot. And that is talking about phrases or idioms. Um, so there is no better way to enrich your vocabulary than to learn and try to learn and try to write down new idioms or new phrases that you learn um, through the day or um, through the week. Um, it's good to write them down in like your uh, own dictionary that you make. I always like to say that's a good way of just memorizing when you put it on the paper. Um, I uh, try to explain phrases or idioms as the group of words that together make a different meaning than their original. So you cannot understand phrases or idioms if you try to literally translate them. You have to imagine. Sometimes visualizing is a very good technique when you're deciphering idioms. Um, just try to kind of mentally imagine what this idiom means when you literally translate it and then uh, while you're analyzing you are just gonna come up with aha uh -huh, okay so that means that so I'm gonna give you some examples and maybe this is gonna be like a standard um, standard type of videos on my channel where we're gonna talk about new idioms so there are a lot of dictionaries online that you can find just Google uh, phrases or contemporary phrases or contemporary idioms and you're gonna get a list uh, of a lot of them. The The problem is that you cannot memorize all of them. Uh, it, when you are watching like contemporary content like TV shows or movies or YouTube um, and you hear a phrase that you don't know then it's a good time to just Google Translate or Google that phrase because while it's still fresh, you're going to connect the meaning with that situation that you watched and your brain is going to memorize it much quicker than if you would try to memorize like 50 idioms a day. Um, it's, it's much more useful to, to learn idioms as you go through your everyday practices and through your life. Okay, so I have a list of idioms here. Um, some of them are more common than others. So we're gonna try with the easiest one, which literally means that the piece of cake. So piece of cake, um, if you literally translate piece of cake, that doesn't have anything to do with uh, that something is easy, but piece of cake literally means that, that something is so easy, it's just like cutting a piece of cake. Okay, the next one, a hot potato. Uh, this is also, if you imagine a hot potato, nobody wants to hold it because it's hot, so that's how you can literally translate and say, aha, uh -huh, this is something that nobody wants to hold, maybe it's something problematic, and that it's actually what it is, so it's a situation or a problem that nobody wants to tackle with, it's controversial, it's uh, difficult, it's unwanted. Um, okay, so once in a blue moon, so the blue moon doesn't come very often, and when it's once in a blue moon, that means rarely. So you can try to translate, uh-huh, so one time in the blue moon, and then um, you will immediately get this sense that that is very rare, and that it's actually something that occurs very rarely. Okay, a bed of roses. Uh, this is also similar to a piece of cake. Uh, so it's something that is like a easy way out, uh, something that is very easy, it's like a beautiful bed of roses. Uh, this is a contemporary idiom, so there is no uh, better way to explain it. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> my phone is going crazy. Okay, so uh, the next one is raining cats and dogs. This is easy, so it's a, such a heavy rain or such a heavy snow or something is falling so heavily like literally cats and dogs um, when pigs fly so pigs you know are very chunky animals so they cannot fly they don't have wings so if something is when pigs fly that is that something is usually impossible or it's gonna happen in a distant future or maybe never um, devil's advocate um, Devil's advocate is uh, usually used like in arguments 
when somebody or in debates when somebody is giving a different option or something is going against uh, what it's being said so he is basically advocating for the other side for the devil's side so that's um, that's where it came from okay miss the boat uh, if you translate it literally you have missed the boat so you have to wait for another one that is exactly what it means so you missed the chance of doing something um, apple of the eye uh, somebody is the apple of your eye <laughs> so basically it's so dear to you it's so close to you it's a person that's that's very close to your heart very precious zip your lip zip your lip is a contemporary idiom that actually means um, to be quiet so zip your lips if you imagine that visually that means that you want somebody to be quiet to stop talking okay so there are some latest idioms that I found here that are very interesting uh, the idiom anything but um, so this is when you are um, choosing between something and you will do anything but that option so you're trying to to say that um, you're not going to do something by no means uh, this is an option for you so I'm gonna try anything but exercising <laughs> for example okay so um, hit or miss hit or miss is um, exactly w if you translate it literally so you can try something and it's gonna be a hit or a miss so you don't know it's uncertain Silver Lining, there's actually a movie called Silver Lining, you can watch it uh, if you want. I think it won an Oscar or somebody from that movie won an Oscar. Um, it's uh, in the textile, some textiles have silver um, lining in them, which means that they shine through, but if you look at very closely. So that means that every situation in life doesn't have to be obviously bad um, you can look for these uh, silver linings you can look for the shine that's not always so visible and you can find positive even in negative situations so this is a very contemporary idiom okay so the next one can be in the air in the air is like um, something that you can feel with your senses but it's not really obvious so it can be like a negative mood is in the air or a positive mood is in the air or there is like a um, a sense of doubt in the air uh, so it means between people in the atmosphere but it's not tangible you cannot catch it so it's in the air um, but it's not something that that you, it's not something concrete Okay, so the last one, it's heart touching. Heart touching, literally like something touches your heart physically. Something can also touch your heart in a uh, metaphorical way. So that means that uh, something has moved you deeply in a way. The, the synonym would be heartwarming. Um, something that, that really makes you happy and, and that warms your heart. Okay, so... Um, there are many 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 other idioms and um, I'm gonna try to pick like the most interesting ones that kind of literally don't have anything to do with their actual meaning but together they make uh, a very common idiom so yeah uh, this is for a student actually who practices idioms every day and I really encourage that so his vocabulary is awesome um, yeah and that is it for the video of today. We're going to talk more about some other topic in the next one. Bye bye!